Hi everyone, thanks for tuning back into Transformers Toys for Kids. Don't forget, I've got brand new Transformers videos coming out every week. This week I've actually got one coming out today and then again on Saturday. Now today I am featuring one step Transformers, meaning they transform in about one step, one to three to be exact. I've got Decepticons on this side ready to battle the Autobots on the right side. So let's just jump on in and start transforming them. To start, let me reach way in the back for Chomp Jaw Grimlock. He's actually a Scout Class Transformer, not technically a one-step transformer, but I included him because his transformation is so easy. He has this Chomp Jaw attack by pulling down on his tail. His mouth opens up and he's got this flame tongue hiding inside. So to transform him, all you do is you open up the tail and then you can see his head sculpt hiding back here. So you flip back on his dinosaur head and out pops the Grimlock head sculpt. Very cool. So then you can take his tail and kind of fold it down out of the way in the back. And that's it for Grimlock once you get his arms down as well. All right, let's put Grimlock back and let's do Hot Rod next. Hot Rod is a very cool transformer that all you have to do is turn this bottom part and everything opens up. He's got this kind of spinning blade attack. There we go, got to spin a little bit better. Again, all you have to do, if we put his arms back down, is rotate this bottom part again to transform him back into car mode. Let's start putting some of these in the back. Let's do Optimus. Optimus is interesting because he's got a cool transformation, but if you look at that, he just kind of pops right open. He's ready to go, so if I give him just a barely touch, he pops right open into his robot mode. He's got his axe attack here. And then to transform him back, kind of just pull down on his chest and everything folds into place. But the thing with him is he doesn't hold together real well. Like I'll barely touch his leg and he pops open. So this version, this copy isn't holding together real well. All right, we've got Optimus. Let's put Optimus in the back. Let's look at Servo real quick. Servo's an interesting one. He's a rescue bot. And all we have to do is flip down and then rotate this around and he becomes a drill. So technically he's a rescue bot, not a one step, but it's one step to transform him. So we'll call him that anyway. All right, let's put Drill Servo back in the back. Let's do a Decepticon. One of my favorite Decepticons in this group is Skybite. Skybite's a really cool looking transformer. He's got this spinning tail becomes more of an attack when he gets into his robot mode. All you have to do is kind of hold down on his fins and pull up on this fin up here and he spins around. Oh, I've got him backwards. And there he is, ready to go. Got to pull his other arm out. Now he's ready to go. All right, so he's got this arm that spins around and then he's got this cool shark head as his other arm. He's menacing see his head sculpt in there with the Decepticon logo. Again, all you do is kind of reset things, put the head back in and push down and he spins back into place. So here we go. And there is Skybite ready for the attack. Let's put him in the back, grab another one here. Hmm, who should we grab next? How about Whirl? Whirl's an interesting one because in a rescue bots, Whirl is a girl. I'm pretty sure Whirl is a boy in this version. So all you have to do to transform Whirl is push down kind of on the front and the back and everything kind of folds out and he becomes really tall. He's got these long legs, stands up really well because of these that fold down. And then you take his blades back here and unfortunately my son accidentally dropped him from a high height and it broke one of the propellers. We had to glue that back on. That's okay though. And then we take the tail piece and it kind of snaps into place. Not as well since we broke this propeller. So there's Whirl looking really cool. Whirl's probably one of my favorite Autobot one-step transformers. It's got this little cool action here. Kind of a pincher grabber attack. So there's Whirl. Let's move some of these that we haven't transformed yet to the front and the other ones to the back. All right, who should we transform next? Let's transform Soundwave. 
has probably the easiest transformation out of any of these. You hold the front wheels and pull up on the front and everything just kind of falls into place. So pull up. There you go. So if we do it quickly, there he is. So nothing like really moves around that well. His arms, I guess, can rotate around, but his transformation is just really cool. His head slides back here on this little slot, which I think is pretty cool. Let's go with Bludgeon. Bludgeon's a cool one because he has this little sword. This, it can easily be lost by younger kids, but we have still held on to it somehow. Bludgeon, all you have to do is push in on the bottom of his legs, and there he transforms. And you can actually take his sword and put it in his this hand, and then it technically pulls out, so it can spin around. So if we put the sword in here, it technically has this like spinning sword attack. We get it out of the way. I don't know how much I love that. I like him just holding the sword. And I think he looks cool enough just holding on to the sword. All right, let's put Bludgeon in the back. Move these two Megatrons to the front. Hold off on the Decepticons. Let's focus on some of the Autobots next. All right, Bumblebee. Bumblebee, my son over-rotated him and that caused him to continuously spin. So I'll show you that in a second. But really you just spin one side and you keep spinning and everything kind of falls into place. So there's Bumblebee with his little spinning blade attack. But again, I can just keep rotating this one piece over and over and that's not supposed to happen. But he can go back into car mode. He's just a little iffy, no big deal. He's still pretty cool. Let's see if I can actually get him rotated in the right way. There we go. All right, Bumblebee's ready. Let's put him behind Grimlock. All right, Bumblebee, you stay there. Grimlock, you go here. We've got four left. Who to transform? Let's go with this Megatron who has a really cool cannon attack. You just push on this button and out it pops. And the reason it doesn't come up all the way out is so that you can just tap it back in and not lose anything. Oops. There we go. All right, to transform him, you take this and unpeg it and then everything just kind of opens up into place and then you peg it back in. And Megatron is ready to go. His cannons can still fire. Really like that effect. Again, pull on the legs and everything just kind of falls into place. And then peg it back in. There you go. All right, let's get him back into robot mode so we can battle these pesky Autobots. All right, two more. Let's go with Blur. Blur is a fast talker and he's got an interesting transformation. You pull out here and then kind of push up on the bottom part and then he transforms. Very interesting transformation there. All right, his arms can move and then you have to fold his feet up to get him to be able to stand. Let's move Servo forward. All right, two left. Let's go with Wheeljack. Wheeljack, just lift up on his hood and keep pulling back, back, back and everything should pop up. There we go. He also has this little cannon, not as cool as Megatron. It's a little harder to fire to get kind of get your finger in there. There we go. His arms can come up and down, and then you also have to take his feet and pull them up, kind of like Blur. There is Wheeljack ready to battle. And finally, oh, poor Megatron. He doesn't know what to do. He's last, probably because he's my least favorite of this whole group. He's just really loose. All you have to do is pull apart his arms. See if we can get this right. There we go. And then his legs just kind of are maracas. <laughs> Not my favorite of the group, but he does have these cool cannons on the back um, that can then rotate and then pull around his head if we can get it to work correctly and then fold over here and then there is his attack so that part's pretty cool but he's just really loose his arms do come up that's great and all but he is inferior to the other megatron and i think he's ashamed of that we've got our entire setup here let's take a look we've got all the decepticons ready to battle 
our Autobots on this side. Who's your favorite? I think my favorites, like I said earlier, have to probably be Skybite. This is my favorite Decepticon. And then my favorite Autobot, just from these Transformers, not in general, is Whirl. Both have really cool transformations and have fun little gimmicks with a spinning blade attack and this little grabber arm. Well, I hope you enjoyed today's video on the One Step Transformers. Got a Rescue Bots video coming in just a couple days. Thanks for watching.